Hey there, podcaster. I see you over there. I feel you. I've been you. And you are thinking about not posting a podcast episode because you just don't know what to talk about. Well, you may be sitting on a content gold mine that you have yet to tap into. And when you hear what I have to say, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, Jen, my mind is blown because I have content for days. Now, this isn't going to help if you hate talking about whatever it is you're talking about. But if you still love your topic, you're just like, "Mm, how can I tweak this to make it a little bit deeper? This episode is for you because there is no pod fading when you come over to podcast CPR. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to Your Podcast is Someone's Life Raft, the podcast that believes every story has the power to be a life raft. I'm your host, Jennifer Dragonette. I've helped hundreds of podcasters find purpose and profits from their shows. In a world filled with so much noise, we're here to explore the art of podcasting with purpose. It's about stories that can inspire, heal, and even provide a cure for dreaded pod fade. I've always believed that your story is a guiding light for those navigating the turbulent waters of life and of their business. We'll dive into the strategies that not only grow your podcast, but allow you to make a meaningful impact and income along the way. Selling through stories, healing through narratives and discovering the power of collaborative magic that happens when like-minded humans come together. So if you're a heart-centered entrepreneur looking to make tsunamis in the world with your unique message, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. I know it's so hard because we've been posting content all over the place. We're doing all the things. So if you've been around the block for a little while and you have any sort of social media. I'm talking about even let's go back to MySpace when you had to have a college email. You have content that you can draw from to make magic happen with your show. Now, what the heck am I talking about? What I'm talking about is when we get stuck in a rut, we get stuck in a content rut because we have talked about our subject at nauseum to ourselves not to our audience. And that's one of the things we have to first realize is that our audience still wants to hear more about whatever the topic is, aka you're listening to me because you want to know more about podcasting, and you're stuck with content right now. So I was just having an amazing podcast audit with a beautiful soul, which you will get to hear later on in April. Very excited for this. But the biggest thing that I get not only from this audit audit, but also from past conversations, when I get into groups, when I hear people talking, when I ask people why they haven't started is, oh my goodness, I won't be able to keep talking about it. First, you're talking about it almost every day on social media if you're trying to grow your business over on social media and you're feeding that content monster. And guess what? That content is there and poof, poof, it's gone. Not with podcasting. With podcasting, it becomes a legacy content where your people can keep consuming. Case in point, I shut down my other show, Feed Your Business with Love, about six months ago, and we are still getting downloads every single day because I built it for you to come, meaning I optimized it. So if you haven't listened to SEO, go back a couple episodes. There's a great SEO episode about where you should start optimizing so that you can get that organic traffic without having to hunt for your people. But I digress. So where is this beautiful content gold that I'm talking about? I'm talking your social media accounts. So this absolutely blew one of my clients' minds. I mean, blew her mind and it was in a good way, not like, oh, Jen, what are you talking about? Da, 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 da. We opened up her Instagram account and she's like, well, why do you want that? We're trying to get me off of Instagram. I'm like, because you have been in your business for three years. You've only been podcasting for about six months. There's something here. So as you think about this, and I want this to trigger you, I want you to be triggered to take action. I want you to open up your accounts and look at all those millions and millions and millions and millions of posts. I know, cringe at some of the graphics, cringe at some of the copy that you wrote. It's okay. 
We all have to start somewhere and we're never going to be perfect. And if you're perfect, you've waited way too long. But what I want you to look at is things that people reacted to, whether it's a big reaction, a little reaction. Remember, we're all about tiny audiences over here because I'd rather have a tiny audience of people that were super fans that wanted all my things that I was actually serving than I would a giant audience to make my ego say, woo, woo, go Jen, go Jen, go Jen. And if you've noticed, I've lost my mind a little bit. It's also midnight and I may have had way too much caffeine. And at the time of recording this, I will be having surgery in about 30 hours. So my brain is all over the place. But in reality, if we open up any one of your social media accounts, we have content for days, days and days and days. So the first thing I want you to do is open up whatever platform you have been most active on in the last six months. And I want you to look at that content. And I want you to look at the stuff that is the top content of your last six months. Guess what? Inside there, that top content, I can guarantee you there are tons and tons of podcast episodes. Should I do this really quick? Let me open up my Instagram. Hang on. And that's a Jen, J-E-N-N dot dragonette over on Instagram. But let me tell you, I don't hang out there much. So it takes a while for me to get back to you, but I will get back to you. Let me open mine up and I will show you exactly what I mean. Okay, well, first off, I just popped over to Instagram on my computer and wow, it's so much different. But I opened it up. I wanted to see the accounts reached. It goes for 90 days so I can look at my top engaged content. And what I'm seeing is that people are interested in, what is this topic? In starting to increase your downloads by doing less. Okay, so looking at that, that is my top viewed content. And that is something that people want. I look at my second top viewed content in the last 90 days and it's okay. She took eight months off and she's still seeing increases. Wow. Can somebody say legacy? And that one got a ton of engagement. So I have two pieces of content that I obviously I'm pulling from some of that right now by sharing this with you. But this is content that I can create into my show. So when you're starting to feel stuck, I challenge you to just open up your Instagram, your Facebook, your MySpace, if you're still there. Is it even a thing still? I don't know. Your Twitter, I mean X, whatever the heck it is. And just kind of look at your last content and see what hit and what didn't. Ooh, I had this one that was don't be a ripple, be a tsunami. Okay, I can have a whole conversation about why I don't think we should be ripples and we should be tsunamis. I can do a whole episode on that, something I actually don't have in the mix right now of why it's important that we look beyond the ripple. And then I keep looking through here and I'm like, okay, there are so many things in here that are coming up why your story is is someone's life raft, how to sell without feeling skeezy, um, the power of surrender. There's conversations with other people. I mean, there is so much content that I have in here that I can pull from and I can guarantee you that you can too. So before you put your podcast on hold because you're like, I just can't talk about this. I want you to start thinking to yourself, is it that you don't have anything to talk about or... Is it because you're burnt out? Because there's true burnout. And maybe it's time to take a hiatus for a week or two. Do I always recommend that? No, I do not. Because we have trained you to come back and listen on certain days. And if you get out of people's like normal schedules, they're going to find someone else to fill your slot most of the time. So I really do want you to pay attention and try to keep going. But what I really you have content. Maybe it's switching up. If you're a long talker and your podcasts are normally 45 minutes and you're burnt out, do a 10 minute podcast, decrease the show notes and don't do all the social graphics. Like less is more sometimes when you hit that stage of burnout. And that's what happened to me. I burned out and I told myself, oh, I can't create any more content. People have heard all the things. I've shared all the things about podcasting. And you know what? It wasn't even close to true. 
But what was really internally going on was I was trying to be on Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, writing blogs, writing LinkedIn articles, doing LinkedIn posts, pinning things, showing up on other people's podcasts, doing this, doing that. And I'm a podcast producer, so I'm already doing this for 27 other episodes a week. I was burnt the F out, burnt out. So in reality, it wasn't me wanting, not wanting to create content or having content that I could share. It was just legit. I had no more brain power to give anything else and I needed to back down. So what I did was I focused on the things that were actually creating an ROI. Facebook created an ROI for me. Doing podcasts created an ROI for me. Podcast interviews did an ROI for me and networking in person did an ROI for me. So that's all I'm doing. I I cut back on all the fat on all the other things and I am so much happier and you can tell I mean I'm like actually excited to show up and share. But once that happened I was like, "Oh, now I've got to get back in the groove and I really don't know what I should talk about." So, there's a lot of ways you can look at other people inside your neighborhood. So, basically in your niche. Um, you know, in the same cookie cutter house in your neighborhood that you're living in. Or maybe it's the house down the street that's a little bit of an oddball. So a little bit of a spinoff. You can listen and learn. If you're learning, you have things to share. You can also open up your old social media accounts or your current social media accounts and just go through your posts. I can guarantee after you stop cringing because you're like, oh my goodness, why did I post this? This is terrible. What was I thinking? How was I so freaking excited about this? Oh, cringe. Was I really naked drumming back in the, back in like last year? Yep. Yep. That was me. That was me on Instagram, naked drumming. Oh, we're, we, we can go move on from that. But I can guarantee you that there is content for you to pull from there. So whether you're learning, whether you're listening to someone who's, again, in your neighborhood in the same cookie cutter house, but teaching in a different way. And again, don't copy word for word. We don't want that. But sometimes that can motivate you. Sometimes we're just really stuck in the rut. Or you probably are getting a question all the time that you're like, oh my goodness, if one more person asks me which microphone I should use, I'm going to lose my ever-loving mind. Clue, it's not any of the Yeti products. It is not a condenser microphone. It is a dynamic microphone. So what did I do? I created an episode about how and why certain microphones So I want you to start thinking about your content in different ways. And the beautiful thing is once you create one long form piece of content, go back to my repurposing episode and I want you to repurpose in a way that feels like a mm, mm, oh so good because if it doesn't feel good and it leaves you feeling tired and burnt out and like you're climbing up a hill with no water and no shoes and you're on fire because it's five million degrees and you just can't do this anymore and you're like oh just kill me now. And you're like, my podcast just died. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well, I'll move on. You let go of something that could have been a legacy that can drive traffic for a long time that can serve for a long time. And again, as I always say around here, serve first and the money will follow guaranteed. If you look for the money first, and then serve second, guaranteed way to be broke as a joke. Anyways, before this gets any crazier or any longer, there are some great ways to find content when you're feeling like you just can't create something else, like you don't want to do this anymore. And before you take a break, just think about maybe changing the length or something that'll make it a little bit more fun for you. All right. So I want to know how this is going for you. You can pop over to Facebook. I'm over there, Jennifer Dragonette. Or if you are really struggling with this and you're like, Jen, I just can't do it anymore. Go to podcastcpr.com. That's podcast CPR like you perform when you are resuscitating something. And let's resuscitate together. These are free 30 minute coaching sessions with me. Yes, it's an audit. Yes, it is recorded. And yes, it might be a podcast episode in the future. But this the secret is out there is no pitch at the end it is strictly 30 minutes of me looking at your business because my zone of genius is seeing the big picture and helping you make little tiny bite-sized pieces to make your show sticky and you know bring on the honeybees or whatever it is i don't know it's late i have no metaphors 
Anyways, on that note, I look forward to chatting with you next week. Go out and make today amazing because you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are worthy, and your story deserves a microphone. Now go out and do the thing. <laughs>